We're all involved in the spiritual war all the time. Ephesians 6 in the Bible could not be any clearer. Verse 12, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. And this, this is where we need to see the all-encompassing nature of spiritual warfare. It touches every area of our lives, our marriages, our families, our relationships, our church, our work, our neighborhoods, our communities, our city. There's no part of our lives or this world over which the adversary does not want to influence. You cannot ignore this war. The Bible doesn't say ignore the devil and he will flee from you. It says resist the devil and he will flee from you. You try to avoid this war, you sit back in a lazy lackadaisical, comfortable, cultural Christianity, pretending like there is no struggle to be had or war to be fought, then you will not stand. You will waver, you will falter and fall. Our enemy in the spiritual war is strong. Our weapons in the spiritual war are stronger. So number one, we test. There are spirits from God and spirits from this world. And we need to know which is which. So we test. The Bible is telling you to test everything I say. Examine everything I say. God is telling you to test me and every other pastor you hear, every Christian or non-Christian book you ever read, every conference you ever attend, test it all. We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ. Did you hear that? Where does spiritual warfare happen? It happens in our minds. So how do we fight spiritual warfare? By taking every thought captive to obey Christ. This is spiritual warfare, examining our thoughts, everything we think, which leads to the question, well, how do you know what's from God and what's not? Trust. So test and trust, test and trust. So this is where John says in verse four, little children, speaking here to Christians, to followers of Jesus who put their trust in the truth about Jesus, he says, you are from God and have overcome them for he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. You have the power of the Spirit of God in you. So trust in the truth about God's Son and the power of God's Spirit and then trust in the word God has spoken. God is saying to us today, open your eyes to the reality around you. Look around you and look within you. Greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. So you're in a spiritual war every day in your home, in your workplace, in your every word, your every desire, your every thought. So in this war, Christian, trust in the truth about Jesus. Trust in the power of God's Spirit. Trust in the word God has spoken to you and me. And know this week in all of your battles with temptation and in all of your struggles with trials, we are not fighting for victory. We are fighting from victory. Live with that confidence. It's wartime now, but peacetime is coming. Peacetime is coming, so God help us to fight spiritual battle with faith from this day until that.